Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm back again. This is episode seven of my weekly updates. I'm trying out uh, these uh, headphones now with a microphone in it, so I'm hopefully you'll be able to hear me better and the sound is hopefully less awful now. We'll see. The downside is, of course, that I am wearing these. Anyway, uh, this is um, again a recording from my actual workplace uh, upstairs. <clears throat> I wanted to mention that I'm doing these uh, videos now slightly later during the day, so I'm going to do the uploads like early afternoon instead. So it's, we're kind of getting into dark, a dark season here in Sweden. So I, I want to take advantage of the of the tiny sunlight and daylight that we get, and also I don't have to have as, as much as uh, as much artificial lighting or, or try to make the lighting or uh, me look less weird. Which, which becomes a problem early on in the morning. <clears throat> Never mind. I wanted. There's been a fairly slow week in curl, I would say, for me. There was this huge security flaw, curbackle again, debacle, blah, 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 on the SSL v3 and the renegotiation, renegotiation handshake downgrade thing. The attack is called Poodle. I blogged about it that I don't consider that curl nor libcurl uh, are vulnerable to this attack. There's been some debate if I'm right or if I'm wrong, but still the attack is about basically like one of those old ones when you can do a lot of repeated requests with it, almost similar request to just add a little detail and then you can eventually figure out secrets in, in the hand, in the request. Basically you, you you want to figure out secrets. So you have to basically run something in your code, perhaps like JavaScript in a web page could figure out something. That's not typically how you use curl nor live curl. So I'm not aware of anything that is vulnerable to, to this poodle attack using curl nor live curl. That's why I say this and I discussed it back and forth with people and well, not everyone agrees. We are going to disable SSL v3 in the next curl release just to be sure and safe and everything since it's it's a very old protocol and it's still not a not considered secure and, and just to be sure and to be safe. We're also going to disable this renegotiation thing that the browsers can be um, ex can be exploited in the browsers. We only have one TLS backend, the NSS that that we do that kind of um, downgrade dance with and we're gonna um, make that not possible in the next release either so we're going to take precautions even if i don't think we are vulnerable to this particular attack but we're also going to address another security problem that uh, we uh, had reported to us um, in curl or libcurl actually so um uh, well i can't discuss the details about that since it's not been public publicized yet, but uh, yeah, we're working on it. We have a CV number and it's going to be um, disclosed properly on November 5. Uh, uh, maybe I didn't mention it last week, but we also now support certificate pinning in curl with at least a couple of different backends. And we'll see where that leads. Read up on certificate pinning if you don't know what it, know what it is. It's a bit complicated. Uh, I wanted to mention that in Firefox, I got myself a Mac a Mac mini, never had a Mac before. Uh, it took me like, I had a build, and <laughs> I'm not a Mac user, never built, I never built anything, never used a Mac before at all. But since the ding dong on the door, I got the machine, I installed it, ran it, I got everything, all the build prerequisites done for, for Firefox. And then I had a brand new Firefox built from the Git mirror in like three hours after I got the machine. So fairly smooth operation there. I'm going to use that to work on my uh, this uh, networks change uh, thing that I've been doing for Windows and Linux and Firefox OS and stuff, and I'm going to do it for for Mac OS too. And I'm kind of in the progress there because it's a different environment, the APIs and stuff. I haven't really got the hang of how how you kind of hang in things to the main loop and. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of object C++, objective C++ stuff that I've never done 
and I'm a bit, well, hesitant. I haven't really figured out all the details, so I'm researching and I'm digging and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm working on it. I got my Firefox OS and Linux patch for this network change backed out. I had it kind of merged. It was there for a few hours and then yanked out again because obviously it caused some test failures and test failures in the code areas that I certainly should not uh, cause any test failures in. So yeah, it's one of those, well, my patch shouldn't have anything to do with that. And in this case, I'm actually pretty sure that my patch shouldn't have anything to do with that, but it's still out and I've kind of have, um, haven't pushed that really hard yet. So it's still out and I haven't really researched and I've sent out a couple of questions to a couple of guys. So we'll see what, where that ends. Um, I still hope that I'll get it to land within soon. Can't make any promises. <laughs> I'm good at landing and getting them out again and again and again and again and again. You know, I mentioned that before. And uh, well, but, uh, speaking about patches then in Firefox, I there's a new interesting um, series of uh, comments in my bug 237623, a very low number that uh, it is about my fix for content length handling, basically, so that we require that um, in HTTP 1.1, when the server sends a document, it actually has to have the content length size set correctly. And, and we verify that to be able to basically detect the premature cuts, like when you download a large file and, we, and the file ends before the entire file has arrived locally, we can actually tell that by just counting number of bytes received and the number of bytes it said it should be. Anyway, we are now kind of being more strict pro protocol wise and we're uh, encouraging servers to do the right thing to, to uh, make, make compliance servers be, be treated better by the browser. And this of course then led to a bunch of people filing bug reports on the non-compliant servers uh, non-compliant resources uh, apparent that there are quite a few of those left and now suddenly they start to send oh no they've been sending the wrong size all the long all along but but mm, firefox has never complained about it before so nobody has noticed but now suddenly we notice and we complain about it and people are getting upset that we're being strict or rather people can be so very very aggressive and harsh since obviously we are stupid and do everything wrong because that used to work with the older Firefox, but now it doesn't work anymore. So obviously we must be to blame. It's a bit of a uh, downside, but uh, I mean, we have to pick a choice. Uh, I mean, we have to make a choice. We have to pick a side. What's, what's wrong, what's right. I think we're doing the right thing here. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that approach. I think it's the correct thing. I, I think it, it'll, it'll depend on how, how angry people get and so on. I did a talk about contributing to open source on a last, this uh, Thursday, last week, October 16, for, for uh, students at the Stockholm University at their computers, uh, data system, computer science, um, something, something. And uh, that was fun, like 30 people, I, um, I spoke. We probably fought too long and far too much because I'm that kind of guy. And I posted my slides uh, on my blog the other day. Probably of the, the, that sort of slides that aren't that terribly interesting if you don't get to hear my talk at the same time. But well, enjoy them if you if you want to. Uh, I wanted to mention that I've uh, I booked everything, my flight and my hotels and everything for FOSTEM 2015. I posted a uh, post on, on the current mailing list too. So if you want to meet up or you want to discuss anything that I'm interested in, in or that you think uh, we are interested in together, you and me, uh, we should meet up in Fostum and uh, uh, talk over beer, over a uh, coffee or uh, wherever or whenever. Just let me know that you're going and we could meet up. That is about it. I'm going to work on this uh, getting the Firefox OS patch landed again for Firefox. And I'm going to do work on getting the same fixes for Mac. And I'm working on the same bug fix uh, loop 
for curl, I don't have any particular change in mind right now. We're in the, this um, back six period until November 5. That's it for this week. I'm over 10 minutes now. Sorry. And this was a slow week. I guess I'm just talking too much. I should talk less. Right? We're having uh, slightly above uh, 100 viewers every week on these videos. I'm not sure. I think that's a lot. But no, th sorry. 100 views a day, actually. Totally. For all these episodes. And for some reason, all these later episodes aren't at all as visited as the early ones. So I don't know. I don't know how, how the future of these will be, but it's fun so far. See you next week. Bye.